I'm very often surprised at the type of world that people imagine they, their ideal world of being. When they approach an issue, whether it's really about anything in their life, but particularly their health, they have this idea of how things are going to be. That things are going to be great, things are going to be manageable, things are going to be decent, and there's going to be regularity, and everything is just sort of going to fall into place. It's never like that. It's never like that at all. Because if you don't take control of yourself by force, it would have happened already. It would have happened already had it been natural. And this is why I say, if it were easy, everyone would do it. This is the thing that people forget about fasting. If it were easy, everyone would do it. And everybody talks about it. Everybody claims to have it a part of their lives. Some of the biggest people today that I see that are trying to lose weight have adopted intermittent fasting in some form because they found out that all of that moderation business they talked about wasn't really working, didn't really do anything. By nibbling on a piece of candy and waiting a couple hours and nibbling on something else, you're not going to lose any weight or not very much. But the problem becomes when people set up a reality that they themselves aren't prepared to measure up to. If you want to be successful at weight loss and you failed at maintaining, staving off cravings, and you have failed multiple times and you haven't been able to get back on, or you succeeded in the past but can't get back on, then you need to assess your conviction. You need to say, why don't I want this enough? And you're going to come down inevitably to the fact that you don't believe that you're going to be successful. Either that or you really don't know yourself and you don't want to succeed. A part of you doesn't want to succeed. If that's the case, you're never going to succeed at all until that part of you wants to succeed. But if you really don't believe it's going to work for you, all you have to do is prove it wrong and say, I've tried it. Which is why I ask people to commit to six weeks. Commit to six weeks of OMAD, strict OMAD, no cheating, and then reassess. Then, once you've done all that, say, hey, you know what, I've done it all, it hasn't worked. But the problem, is, this is the same problem that people have when they say, I don't, I've done it all. But they haven't done it all. You know, nobody's done everything. Because if you're really working and you're expending so much energy controlling your weight and your health, naturally, you're going to have something to show for it. You're going to have something to show for it. You will, you will have learned some things. Because every time you try and fail, you learn something about your, your life and about your body. There would be some payback to that. So people that say they've tried everything are lying. It just says people uh, who are saying they can't lose weight are lying. Or they're not being honest with themselves. What did you think would happen when you started experiencing cravings, when you became overwhelmed? What did you think would happen when you tell your body, no, you can't have what you want to have? Well, you created a reality for you that was not this reality. So the solution to your problem now is, if you're going to start over, go in and expect the worst cravings that you can imagine. Expect all of the miserable feelings that you are dreading and trying to bypass by looking up all of these hacks online for how to, be, how, to how to reduce temptation and reduce cravings. Those are all things for the lesser people. And when I say lesser people, I mean people that, that want an easy way out. That's why they don't succeed. Folks, there's a reason for why people who read self-help books don't ever master themselves. They can never help themselves because they feel like by reading this little book, book X, whatever it is, they're sidestepping the hard stuff. It doesn't work like that. You always go through the hard stuff the same way the first couple businesses you start will fail. You learn from those experiences to succeed. So someone really looking to succeed looks to create the mindset going in of the worst case scenario. Here's how bad it's going to be. I'm going to have to take off work. I'm going to have to lay down. I'm going to have blood sugar fits. I'm going to have a terrible headache. I'm going to be queasy. I'm going to question my life and my sanity. I'm going to bark at all of those around me because I'm going to be angry. If you went in expecting that, you're going to do well because you will have been honest about what you're getting into. And I get so many people 
that's what I try to tell them when I work with someone in a coaching session or something like that. You can't expect something to go well. Because if you do, reality is going to going to hit going to set in and you're not you're going to realize you did not calculate property properly. It's like trying to go to Mars and then you realize, "Oh, you know what? We didn't bring enough food. We didn't bring water. We didn't bring air. Well, you'll need to bring a lot because there's none there." So you have destroyed yourself by not counting the cost. So if you're starting again, I've talked about before how this corona business has been a great time to go into this to the scarcity mindset and and go go back and relive poverty and say, "Hey, now is not the time to eat, it's the time to eat what's on you." But it's also good in that now you can look at everyone around you and see that they don't have and say, "Now is a great time to not have." Now is a great time to not have. It's one thing to think it. It's another thing to realize it. So take time off work. It's You have the time. You've already been cut back in hours, right? Take the time off work. Expect to be miserable for two weeks. The mission critical period that I mentioned. Two weeks are, is the mission critical. If you fail then, you're, you're not going to succeed, period. But you can do that. You can succeed. Please don't be dishonest with yourself. Don't be dishonest with yourself.